Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath once more. We thank God for being with us and guiding us all through. And uh, we are happy to be gathered here to worship him for that. Uh, and those who are watching us at home, you are welcomed warmly to share this God of ours with us. Before that, I would like to welcome our principal warmly so that he can, he can welcome us and introduce us fully to this session. Thank you. Happy Sabbath, church. Happy, Happy day. day. Happy Sabbath once again. Happy, Happy day. Thank you for coming, and I want to welcome you to the Sabbath of the Lord this day. And to our viewers back at home, I also take it uh, very special to welcome all of you to worship with us this day from Ekima International School. To those ones who don't know Ekima International School, it is in Narok, only eight kilometers from Narok town on your way to Bomet. Therefore, my viewers and uh, our congregation, I welcome you to the Sabbath of the Lord. Feel most welcomed, feel at Jesus' feet. That was our principal briefly talking, explaining about our school and its whereabouts. Now we're going to welcome our school choristers for the song service. Please take control of the stage. Thank you. Song number 137. There is sunlight on the hilltop. Three sing. There is sunlight on the hilltop. There is sunlight on the sea. And the golden beams are sleeping on the soft and violently. But a rich light is feeling all the chambers of my Shall find rest. 
And indeed, he should keep us near the cross, this wonderful savior of ours. Now we are moving to the next session, that is prayer session. Yes. And I am welcoming our pastor to put us before the Lord. Please welcome pastor. Happy Sabbath. Happy day. Uh, thank you because of this moment we are going to prayer session. Na tunapoingia katika maombi tutaenda katika siku hii ya leo ya sabato tutakuwa katika maombi ya kuombea shule zetu kwa sababu katika shule zetu hizi zote Kenya nzima tuko na mambo ya kuchoma mashule tutaenda kuiombea tutaombea pia wanafunzi wote kwa imekuwa imezidi katika mashule zetu ambaye inachangia sana kuweza kuchoma mashule Tunaombea pia au uh, afya ya wanafunzi ambao tutaenda kuiombea pia tutaomba pia kwa sababu ya afya ya walimu wetu tutaomba pia kwa sababu ya uh, wanafunzi kuweza kupiga walimu ili Mungu aweze kusaidia wanafunzi ili waweze waache kupiga walimu na pia sana sana pia wana, wanafunzi pia siku hizi wanapiga wana wazazi wao tutaomba pia kwa sababu ya wazazi kupata hela ili waweze kupata pesa na kuweza kutupeleka kupeleka wanafunzi wote mashule so sisi ambao wale ambao wataenda kuunganika kwa maombi ni mimi pastor Gideon wale mingati district pastor wa Mosiro na tuko na um, dada yetu ambaye atakuja kujieleza na pia mzee wa kanisa ambaye pia atajieleza majina yake na atakuwa pia katika kujiunga pamoja nasi kwa maombi haya so kwa maombi nataka tu wote ambao tunasikiliza tunawaangalia katika TV yetu ya Hope Channel tukiwa katika shule yetu ya Hekima International na wakaribisha katika wakati huu wa maombi tuweze wote 
kujiunga katika maombi haya ili tuweze kuombea kila mmoja wetu. Hebu tunatuombe. Baba wetu mfalme Asanti kwa sababu umekuwa pamoja nasi. Umetulinda. Umetuhifadhi mpaka siku hii ya leo tunakushukuru Mungu. Tunaomba kwa sababu ya walimu wetu tunawaweka mikononi mwako. Hebu Mungu uweze kuwawezesha uwatie nguvu, uwaelekeze, uwape hekima kama jinsi ya shule hii ya Hekima International ili wanapofundisha wanafunzi hawa waweze kuwa na hekima kutoka kwako katika jina la Yesu. Naomba Mungu wetu wa amani uzidi kuwa pamoja na wazazi pia tunawaweka mikononi mwako Yesu uwalinde wape hela ya kuweza kuwaleta wanafunzi katika shule hii. Mungu wetu wa amani. Naomba pia kwa sababu ya Kenya yetu tunaweka mikononi mwako uzidi kuwalinda, usidi kuwahifadhi Usidi Mungu wetu kutupa hekima kutoka kwako na hata umoja na maarifa kutoka kwako. Kanisa lako linapoendelea kuongezeka katika dunia yote nzima, hebu Mungu wetu wa pamoja nasi. Naomba kwa sababu ya shida mbalimbali ambayo ziko katika mashule yetu, uzidi kuwawezesha na shule hii ya hekima na mashule mengine tunaweka mikono ni mwako. Wazazi wote wape hela, wape nguvu kutoka kwako. Utusaidie na utuongoze kupitia Yesu tumamba na hata kuamini. Amen. Amjambo watoto, amjambo walimu, mwajina unaitu wa Josephine Nguru Mwa, tuwembe Yesu kwa sai. Baba like the jaa ashera na saa, ashera na dama, ashera na ma shoninjo hiyo ga no long, tama ya nangara angola izori ya ni. Kia ito dukoya ngwa nyeki nonori ya na dama, Tama ya na yoga ngayu njoritin. Kwa ya nangara yenge soma, ya lari lirini agrajin. Kiri pa angayi kinonoka ngayi. Ngera nape jiro sukulu ni, na o kitole dawa hii. Kira nye na roki na ngarne yesu. Kira nye na yisori ya nilai. Tako ili yoga ngayi yang. Njyo yoga ngara ngarasa roto. Tako ili nmane na langa la yisori ya ni. Kwa ya rashe na doko ya ngwa nyeki nonok. Kwa ya mwali munilia na sukulu. Atipa ya ngayi kinonok. Kwa ya ngara anga na sukulu. Kia ul darabani. Kia ul lakilini. Kia ul dagatarini. Ngai magalani. Tako ili ngara ang. Ojorele Israel. Baba kire jashe. Ngai ya ngolo rani. Ngara na. Kira nyano zaya na sukulu. Kira nyara ngarna la yisori ya ni. Ngai ya ngari pekangara inono ngai kinonok. Kire pekangai ya. Kwa ya sukulu pis. Njo ondoi uo. Njo wasatia na shule. Tako ili magalani. Nara ngarne yeso. Aro mono naisha na shi. Uh, ni mse wa kanisa ambaye anasimamia sura ya hekima tanasa na school narak tuombe takatifu papa wetu wa ICH mbinguni asante mwafaka tena tuaje kwa kwa jinsi tulivyo tuombe kaweza kutupokea kila mmoja wetu tunapokuja hapa kwa ajili ya siku hii takatifu kwa ajili ya kuabudu wewe tuombe walimu wetu wa hii shule ya hekima tanasa na school wachalie na afya Mungu wetu wanafunzi the students wote wakiwa hapa Mungu wetu wasaidie wasaidie na wasasi wanapotafuta fedha ili waweze kuwasaidia watoto wao wapate masomo katika shule hii tuombea na majirani wetu nchi yetu ya Kenya yote waweze Mungu wetu ili waweze tuweze kuwa na amani kupitia kwa china la Yesu ile mwamba na mkombozi wetu and now it's time for children's story but before i welcome our brother we are going to sing this song and children at home will help me sing it. Come to Jesus, come to Jesus, come to Jesus right now, right now. Come to Jesus, come to Jesus right now. Njo kwa Yesu, njo kwa Yesu, njo kwa Yesu sasa, njo sasa. Njo kwa Yesu, njo kwa Yesu sasa. Hello. Hello kids at home. Hello. It's you, yes you. Hello. Okay. I'm going to give you a children's story of hope. So there's one kid by the name Melinda. Melinda. 
she had a dad and a mother. But the dad was a soldier. So Melinda lived with the mother. Sasa Melinda siku moja akiwa melala. Baba yake alipanga safari kuwa alikuwa ameitwa kikazi. Melinda akaamka asubuhi akapata baba yake alishaenda. Melinda na ule utoto wake alilia alilia juu she said that she had missed the father. So Melinda every morning that she could wake up she was to go to the door stand there leaning on the wall of the door. Dad, when are you going to come? Dad, when are you going to come? She cried. She cried a lot. She cried and she cried. Actually she cried. So her mother thought thought her one thing, hope. There is hope. Your dad will come soon. So every day the, every evening the mother could read the scripture to the kid. So the kid grew in spirit. So she she, she was used to the story of the mother of hope that the, the father will come back. So there is this day that they were watching the news and sad news was on the TV that the soldiers who went for war they have been bombed in their camp they are all dead Melinda never knew that the father had gone for a war but the mother knew so the mother started crying Melinda was asking why mom mbona unalia mami mbona unalia so the mother was telling her that i miss your dad so that that was the the thing that her mother repeated day in day out mom where is dad where is dad your dad will come mom why are you crying i miss your dad so melinda venye imekuwa ratiba yake akiamka asubuhi with that hope akaenda siku moja akasimama kwa mlango akilia dad when are you going to come dad i miss you so the mother was crying in bed because that was the same same day that the bodies of the departed were going to be brought to their country so melinda na mamake wakajitayarisha lakini melinda yeye alienda akasimama kwa mlango kumgoja baba yake arudi she had no idea if the dad was dead so as melinda was standing on the door she remembered one thing there is hope for a tree that has been cut for it will sprout again so she said that god if you love me and if you love my mother because my mom is crying day in day out please bring dad home so that we can share this joy of being a family melinda akaketi hapo kwa mlango so the mother prepared prepared the food and prepared to surprise the kid with the news that her dad was bombed they are going to bring the body home so melinda as she was seated down there she saw somebody coming from afar somebody who is very tired carrying something light wearing a vest with the jeans and rubber shoes coming slowly so melinda stood up went to the gate she went slowly slowly and stood there with sharp eyes she looked at the person the person was huge yes he was huge from afar she could say that that person can come maybe rob them but as she was looking at the walking style of that person coming slowly 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 she suspected something the hope that she has been having is finally coming to pass so melinda 
walked slowly. Slowly. The father came. Slowly. Slowly. When Melinda reached near the person, she was surprised. She smiled. Melinda cried loudly. Dad! Now the mother heard that voice from the house. Hey, what is happening, Melinda? When she came out, surprisingly, she saw the dad. What a joy. What a joy. So Melinda plus the mother plus the dad, they came together, hugged each other. The amusement. Now, let me come to conclusion. What does this story teach us? Teach us? There is hope for that one person who doesn't have something to hope for. We are waiting for Jesus Christ and for him to come very soon. We must have hope and faith that he will come. Yesu apenda watoto kama mimi mi. Yesu apenda watoto kama mimi mi. Watoto kama mimi, watoto kama mimi. Yesu apenda watoto kama mimi mi. Avinwili Soyaro. Thank you. And indeed there is hope for a tree that has been cut down. You can, you can sprout again. So right now we are moving to the next session that is tithes and offering. And for you back at home, I encourage you to continue giving back to God because there is no hand that has blessings as the one that gives. Even Jesus himself say that, give Caesar what belongs to him and to God what belongs to him. I welcome the choristers with the song number 62. Please step forward. Number 62. All to Jesus I surrender three sing. All to Jesus I surrender all to him I freely give. I will ever love and trust him in his presence.
Today's scriptures come from the book of Jeremiah, chapter number 29, verse 11 to 13. And the word of God says, I alone know the plans I have for you, plans to bring your prosperity and not disaster, plans to bring about the future you hope for. Then you will call me, you will call and pray to me, and I will answer you. You will seek me, and you will find me because you will seek me with all your heart. I pardon. I'm reading the book of Jeremiah, chapter number 29, verse, verse 11 to 13. And the word of God says, I alone know the plans I have for you, plans to bring your prosperity and not disaster, plan to bring about your, the, future you, the future you hope for. Then you will call me, you will call and pray to me, and I will answer you. You will seek me, and you will find me, because you will seek me with all your heart. Let's pray. Our kind and everlasting Master Abba, we thank you at this particular time. Father, I dedicate the preacher of the day. Guide him, lead her, so that she can preach to this old generation. Father, I pray this short prayer, believing in thy name. Amen. See we are Yes, 
The congregation in the church, happy Sabbath, happy, happy day. Happy Thank you for the choir, for your participation. I really like those songs that you sang. I felt that they were perfect, really perfect. For today, I'm privileged to stand before you as a preacher, but not a student. So please, Listen to the word of God and don't undernarrate me. Our key verse comes from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, 11 to 13. What does, what does the Bible tell us? Jeremiah 29, verse 11, it says, I don't know the plans I have for you, plans to bring you prosperity and not disaster plans to bring about the future you hope for. Then you will call to me, you will come and pray to me, and I'll answer you. You will seek me, and you will find me, because you will seek me with all your heart. Thank you for the scripture. God is telling us as his children, we have to seek him, so that he can give us whatever we need in life. The Lord is telling us we have to pray for him so that he can give us whatever we need. So pray to him so that you can, need to, so that you can get whatever you need. And the next Bible, Ecclesiastes 3, 1, what does it say? Ecclesiastes 3 1 it says mm -hmm. everything that happens in this world everything that happens in this world happens at the time God chooses. The time God what chooses. chooses. Uh -huh. He sets the time for path. He sets the time for path. And the time for death. And time for death. The time for planting. Time for planting. And the time for pouring up. The time for harvesting. Uh -huh. The time for killing. The time for killing. And the time for hearing. And the time for healing. When you ask something to God, He really has a time that He will answer your prayer. So don't worry and ask yourself, why, why me? Why has not God given me whatever I needed in life. Why God has not fulfilled the desire that I had in mind? You have prayed morning, noon, midnight, but your prayer has not been answered. But God is telling us there is a time, 
and a season for everything. Pray, continue praying. God will fulfill your desire. Then we have Matthew chapter number 7, verse 7 to 8. What does the Bible tell us? Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 to 8. Uh -huh. It says, mm -hmm. Ask. Ask and you will receive. And you will receive. Seek. Seek. And you will find. And you will find. Knock. Knock. And the door will be open to you. And the door will surely be open to you. For, For sure. God is telling us, knock. He will open the door for you. Knock for blessing so that he can bless you. Don't worry what challenges that you face in life. But today I assure you, if you will pray, God will surely answer you. If you will knock, he will open to you. Then there is a story that I like so much in the Bible. The story of Esther. Someone read for me Esther chapter 1, 17 to 20. What does the Bible tell us? Esther chapter 1, 17 to 20. Uh -huh. It says, Every woman in the empire will begin to look down on her husband mm -hmm. as soon as she hears that the queen has done. Mm -hmm. They say, King Sizakas commanded Queen Pasti to come to him and to refuse. When the wives of the royal officials of Persia and Media hear about the queen's behavior, they will be telling their husbands about it before the day is out. This is when Queen Pasti, the wife of King Hauseras, disobeyed the king. He told, she told him, that I'll not obey your command. But what the king ordered the court to write a decree to her. Again, Queen Fasti refused. And earlier? While everyone will have no request for their husbands, and husbands will be angry with their wives. Queen Fashti was a role model to the kingdom. But now, he turned to disobey the king. What do you think other women in the kingdom will see? Miss Fashti, the queen. They saw her again as a bad model. But we are told in the Bible that the person or a girl virgin who was sought to be more than Queen Fashti will replace her. Can you read for me verse 20? Verse 20 is saying. <laughs> When your proclamation is made known all over this huge embryo, mm -hmm. every woman will treat her husband with proper respect, whether he is rich or poor. Whether he is rich or poor. So you have also a duty to have respect to each other. Not only to your wife, not only to your husband, but to your fellows. You have to have respect. Then, chapter 2, that 3 to 7, 3 to 7, yeah. Wait for me to read. Esther, chapter 2, 7. Chapter 2, verse 7. Mm -hmm. It says, he had a cousin, mm -hmm. Esther, whose Hebrew name was Hedazah, 
she was a beautiful young woman mm -hmm. and had a good figure. At the death of her parents, mm -hmm. Mordecai had adopted her and brought her up as his daughter. In this verse, we get that there was a virgin named Esther. Esther was a good girl who was brought up by Mordecai, his, her uncle. But let's see, what did Esther do? In chapter 4, 1, 2, 3, Chapter 4, 1, 2, 3, mm -hmm. it says, When Mordecai rent of all that had been done, he tore his clothes in anguish, then he dressed in sackcloth, covered his head with ashes, and walked through the city, wearing rivalry and putery, until he came to the entrance of the parade. He did not go in because no one wearing sackcloth was allowed inside. Throughout all the, prom the promises, whatever the king's procreation was made known, there was loud mourning among the Jews. They fasted, wept, and wailed, and the most of them put on sackcloth and lay in ashes. This is when the Jews were under a command that they will be killed. They fasted. They prayed so that can, God can help them. Mordecai, being a Jew, went to the gate of the king, wearing a sackcloth, putting ashes on his head, symbolizing that he was very, very much in Peter. He went, cried, so that he can have help from the king. Let's see chapter 5, verse 3. Chapter 5, verses 3, it says, mm -hmm. What is it, Queen Esther? Mm -hmm. The king asked, Tell me what you want, and you shall have it, even if it is half my empire. Esther got favor from the king, and the king told Esther, whatever you will ask, it will be given unto you. And now, today I'm telling you, whatever you will ask God, surely he will give it unto you. Don't stress yourself what your enemies have planned unto you, but focus what God will do unto you. Let's see what Naaman said, who was the enemy of the Jews. Uh, we have Esther 5.14. Mm -hmm. So he, his wife and all his friends suggested, mm -hmm. why don't you have a girl built 22 meters tall? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow morning you can ask the king to have Mordecai hanged on it. Mm -hmm. And then you can go to the banquet happy. Haman thought this was a good idea, so he had the girls built. Naaman's wife told him, Go and build a gallows so that Mordecai should be hanged on it. Naaman was the biggest enemy of the Jews. The biggest enemy of the Jews who wanted the Jews so that they can be killed, all of them. Let's read from Esther 6.4. Okay. Mm -hmm. And any of my officials in the palace, the king asked, now, Hamani had just entered the courtyard. Mm -hmm. He had come to ask the king to have Mordecai hanged on the gallows that was now ready. So the servants answered, Hamani is here, waiting to see you. Show him in, said the king. 
when Naaman planned for Mordecai to be hanged. So I'm telling you, don't focus on what people say, but focus to what God will do unto you. When Mordecai and Esther were fasting, cried so that God can give them a chance so that they can save the Jews. Let's read from chapter number 6, Esther, 9 to 10. What does the Bible tell us? Esther 9 to 10, mm -hmm. it says, mm -hmm. Then get one of your highest noble men to dress the man in these robes mm -hmm. and read him, mounted on the horse through the city square. Let the noble man announce as they go. See how the king rewards a person he, he wishes to honor. Mm -hmm. Then the king said to Haman, Hurry and get the robes and the horse and provide these honors for Mordecai the Jew. Do everything for him that you have suggested. You will find him sitting at the entrance of the Paris. For sure. Now man was told by the king, all of those wishes that you want the king to do unto you, first of all, do it for, the Mo for Mordecai, who is your enemy. So what you plan today is what you will harvest tomorrow. What you say today, it might have an effect tomorrow. You might not know. And then, read for me Matthew 7, chapter 7, 17 to 18. What does the Bible tell us? 17 to 18. Is mm -hmm. a healthy tree bears good fruit, but a poor tree bears bad fruit. Mm -hmm. A healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a poor tree cannot bear good fruit. Exactly. Mordecai was a good person, but he bared good fruits. Naaman was hanged on those gallows because he planned it for Mordecai. What I'm telling you, I'm asking you, are you the one, are you among the Namans that we have today in this generation? Ask yourself, are you among the Namans we have in this generation? Are you among the Mordecai that we have in this generation? Are you one of them? Are you Naman who plans bad things to others? Or are you Mordecai who wishes good to all people? Are you wishing the best for your friend? Are you? Are you? Really? Love your neighbor. Love your neighbor as you love yourself, as the Bible tells us. Don't plan bad things to others. But what I urge you, plan the best for others. Because you don't know what tomorrow might be. Would you care to eat a kuaji? Would you eat? But God knows what will be tomorrow. At least think about others in a good way. Do what is right so that you can bear good fruits in future. Even the viewers, I'm urging you, do good things. Be positive-minded towards each other. Don't do wrong things always until even the community says, hey, see you too. 
Sio hiyo tu anakuanga hivyo. Don't do that. Be a role model at least even a second be a role model. So that you can help in spreading this gospel of Jesus Christ. Be a role model. That is what I'm urging you. Be of good hope so that you can be able to tell your friend that, hey, do this. Fanya hivi to saidike. Do something in your life. So that even when people talk about you, they can say, oh, that girl, that man, that boy is a role model. And I have to follow his or her ways. Do good, bear good fruits. Be bad, be rotten. You will bear rotten fruits, bad trees bad fruits because you are a rotten tree. Do something, you will get something. Do nothing, get nothing. My last verse comes from the book of Lamentation 340, chapter 3, verse 40. Have you got it? Lamentation. Lamentation. Very forty. Who has got it? The Bible tells us, let's test, search out, and examine our ways. Let's test, search, and examine our ways. Be someone who gives someone hope. Don't be someone who destroys the hope of others. Be real sometimes so that you can get original quality. Be someone who can advise each other. Be someone who can do something to help the other. Before I make a call, let me call my choristers wherever you are. Please come forth so that you can sing that wonderful song to all Christians who are listening today. Song number 131. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal bright and fair, when the Savior comes to gather over on the other shore, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll, when the roll is called up yonder, when the Chosen one shall gather to their home beyond the sky, and the roll is called up yonder. I'll be there when the 
Thank you for your wonderful song and thank you again. Now I'm calling you forth for if you are going under many challenges in life, you are going through a lot in life, maybe you are sick. Maybe your friend is sick. I call you for, so that you can come to have a prayer with me here. If that message that I preached to you, in Mekuguzo Nasema, hey, today I'm really blessed. Just stand forward. Just move forward so that we can have a prayer. Just come, don't ask yourself what people will say, but just come. God is calling you today so that he can fulfill his desire to you, so that he can heal you, so that he can Bless you. Don't worry what people will say. Just come forward. Just come. Just come. Just come. Don't be afraid. Just come. 22. Yeah, sing number 22 as we are going to make a prayer. Just come. Don't be afraid of anybody. I'm calling you. God is calling you. Don't be afraid. Just come. Chief of sinners, though I be, Jesus shed his blood for me. Desire will be fulfilled. Move forward and you will get blessings. Chief of sinners, though I be Christ. Don't sit down, nothing problems. Well, God is there to solve them. Just come forth. God is going to solve them. Don't you worry what people will say. Just come forward. We will have a prayer and go. 
God will bless you. Thank you for those who have come forth for their prayer. Pastor, I'm calling upon your presence so that you can give us a prayer for the people who have come here. We are going to pray. There's let us bow our heads down so that we can pray. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you God because of the good message which you have given us through your servant. God, we have listened to you that there is time for everything. There is time to plant and there is time to harvest. And God, this is your time. You have made us to be in this day. And you have called us so that to be good people, to bear good fruits and not bad. We bow our heads down, knowing that you, have, you, will, you will forgive us and you will guard us and you will guide us in each and every thing which we will do under the sun. We dedicate ourselves and, and even our form four students to your hands, God, and even class eight who are viewing us at home so that you will go and give them knowledge and wisdom when they do their exams, the day which you'll come, God, you'll, you'll do with them, you'll help them, you'll give them wisdom so that they can do according to your will. I pray to those who are sick, go and heal them, God. Give them good health so that they can continue revealing that you are God Almighty. Be with our school, Hekima International School. Continue, God, giving wisdom as they call this school Hekima. God, continue giving that Hekima every time. I pray even to our preacher, continue using her every time. And even now, all other preachers across the board, be with them, God. We know that you will do, you will heal, you will continue giving us each and everything which you need, God, as your people. Be with Hope Channel, continue giving them health, and even give them a wisdom and give them strength to continue proclaiming this word across the world, internationally, so that every person who is viewing to know you, God, through this channel, I pray knowing that let your will be done accordingly through Christ, pray, pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Come the fount of every blessing, tune my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy never ceasing, call for songs of loudest praise. Teach me ever to adore thee, may I still the goodness prove, while the hope of endless glory fills my heart with joy and love. Here I raise my Ebenezer, here by thine the help have come. And I hope thy, thy good pleasure, safety to arrive at home. Jesus sought me when a stranger, wandering from the fall of God. Here to rescue me from danger, interpose his precious blood. All to grace have what a debtor, daily I'm constrained to be. Let thy goodness like a fitter, blind me closer still to thee. Prone to wonder, Lord, I feel it. Prone 
want to live the God I love in my heart. Oh, take and seal it, seal it for the cause above. The second song, number 59. Let us sing a song that reaches us by the way. In a little while we going home. For the night will end in the everlasting day. In a little while we going home. In a little while, in a little while. We shall cross the billows form. We shall meet at last when the stormy winds are past. In a little while we going home. We will do the work that our fans may find to do. In a little while we going home. And the grace of God will our daily strength renew in a little while we going home. In a little while, in a little while, we shall cross the billows fall. We shall meet at last when the stormy winds are past. In a little while we going home. What a great and wonderful service we just had. I hope everyone is as blessed and as happy I, as I am. By, by the show of hands, let me see how many of us are as happy as I am right now. Thank you, thank you. We have learned that we should ask God and he'll grant unto us whatever it is that we might ask from him. Be a Mordecai, be an Esther, but do not be a Haman. Haman is a villain, so don't be a villain. And for you back at home, we hope that you have been blessed just like we have been blessed. And see you next time if God permits. But for now, bye. And keep HCK home. Till next time, don't touch that dial.